This is Suspenders Unbuttoned Podcast. I'm Sarah. And I'm Julie. Join us for unbuttoned and unedited conversations. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Suspenders Unbuttoned Podcast. I'm Sarah. And I'm Julie. And we are excited to welcome Tyler Hines, despite what his name says. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is well this is well named. Okay, Sarah and Julie Finn is exactly what I'm doing here. I love the intro, guys. That was fun. Hey, thanks. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm feeling like we need a new one already, but thank you. Do you guys have to update that every once in a while with, with like, the new guests? Like is that how it works? Change. Yeah, yeah we're, we both like change. <laughs> Where'd you guys find the, the music for it? Did you guys make the music? Oh, the music is a fun story because Julie's son actually made it for us. Wow. Yeah. Uh, my that. son is a, a vocal instructor and okay. uh, also a choir teacher. And, you know, and then I'm like, make us something so nobody comes after us for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. Quick and cute and. You could have just told him it was for his talents, but that's okay. Yeah, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. <laughs> so, well, he well, welcome. You actually came on because you have a movie airing this weekend, right? That's correct. Yes, we got a movie coming out on uh, Saturday. Yes, shifting gears. Yeah. Have you guys been I, watching the uh, the trailers for this thing? Of course, you can't miss it. <laughs> yeah, every single you- one I've been looking at. <laughs> Oh, good. What, what do you guys think so far? Does it look nice? Looks great. We're excited for it. Um, it's fun to have so many intertwining things happening with this story with Crystal. It's, you know, it's her first movie she's directing. Yes. And then, of course, the Heinies and the Postables. Everybody's so excited. Not It'll the Postables. Well, yeah, the Heinies and the Postables. But yeah. Addie and the Good Witch people. All, yeah. all the Good Witch fans. This has what brought like, a whole know bunch name. of fandoms together. This is what I hear. This is what I hear. Did you guys speak to uh, to Crystal? Not yet, but give us a few moments. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yeah, I, I was hoping to have some of the other actors or, or folks on this. I think we weren't able to to coordinate it and whatnot. Um, but uh, I, well, I would we'll have loved to have too, them there. So. Yeah, well, yeah, that would be great. They're everybody yeah, so uh, lovely. It's a it's a busy day for everyone. Um, so shifting gears, uh, give us three words to describe the movie. <laughs> three words three words um uh i feel like you know i think it's gonna be make her mark i think those are gonna uh, be the three words yeah. this seems like the most appropriate thing to describe yeah, this movie. you nailed it you nailed it i um, mean the, the title of it had three words in it so i couldn't miss that opportunity Make her no, mark. That is a very Tyler thing to say, I think. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, so what do you mean? Uh, I think that you love to put everybody else, like you would love, it's Make Her Mark. It's Crystal's first movie. Yes. And I think everybody's probably very proud of her. Yeah, as they should yeah. be. I think that was a huge reason why I did this, if not the reason why I did it. They told me from the outset that that's what this this was. and. And Ashley had spoken to me about this program a while ago. We were, uh, Ashley and I were having dinner with a, a group of us. And and I think, I forget how, how it came up, but I was speaking about how I wanted Kim. Kim wanted a shadow on Wise Men, Kimberly Sustead. Mm-hmm. And I was a big proponent of that, but for whatever reason that that didn't happen. And and I was uh, I was bitter about that fact. And, uh, and Ashley expressed that, she was too and she was trying to find a way to make this process a little more um integratable to this structure and this machine mm-hmm. that we have so that people can get an opportunity like this and and uh, when she told me that i was thrilled and she said careful because you'll get a phone call very soon for the first one <laughs> and then i said count me in you know so when i saw this i was uh very excited to, to see it come to fruition and excited to see that that it was crystal it was a beautiful thing yeah, so we are big fans of this program. Make Her Mark mm-hmm. is Hallmark's program to develop uh, women in directing, which yes. is an unbalanced representation currently in in the film world. And it's a very specific forward movement. And they're putting out a plan to bring women from uh, not directing roles into a directing a full movie. And so yes. you're the, the first... Uh, lead and the first movie through this process um we we 
on our short list, you would have been on my short list. Uh, oh, thank you. I oh, love yeah. Who else is on that list? I'm curious. Uh, you know, I, I, people who want to see that you can see their hearts in yeah. what yeah. they do. Um, we, so we have the unique uh, and back, backwards, but we know you in person versus having you on the podcast. And then we've seen, you know, your 5 million things on film. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so, You're counting. I appreciate that. Too. <laughs> the way you interact with people and lift them up is the type of person I would like to see as somebody right. is working into their first directing role. I appreciate you saying that. Yeah. I, uh, I'm sure I weighed down the whole process and, and sunk the ship, but I, I appreciate that they included me in the in the process, and I was very very happy to be there in whatever way I could lend myself to it. And uh, it's nice to see it here come to this place now. I know it was a it was an undertaking for Crystal. She was putting her heart and soul into it, so it's going to be fun to see the reaction to to everybody else's reaction is what I'm excited most about. Yeah, that's it. That it. That's a good point. It's watching her reaction to everybody's reaction. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. So what can you tell us about shifting gears? Um, there's some cars. Um, there's some romance. There's uh, some really lovely cast. You know, it's. It, I think it's, it's a nice thing. They explained to me that this concept of having uh, a woman play a mechanic was something mm -hmm. that had been around as an idea for a while, but hadn't had that opportunity. And our lovely executive, um, Aisha, who has a shout out in our movie. There's a scene in the beginning where there's a name tag on a table with an actor that I'm interacting with and we gave it her last name. Um, anyway, she's the there's most talented. Easter egg, everybody. Yeah. yeah, there's an Easter egg. Yeah, a little, <laughs> little homage to Aisha. I wanted her to actually be the person because she was around around this time when we were shooting this moment. Um, but she was like, no, no chance. Um, she doesn't want to be in front of the camera. But she, she, she I think, reached out to the producers with this idea saying, Hey, I think we can do this idea now. And so the idea of, of a woman uh, being a mechanic and a very capable and skilled mechanic and, and using this story as a platform to show a character like that, I thought was nice. The competition aspect of it is really, really fun. They're in a competition uh, against each other uh, with some other folks. And uh, it's good. I mean, who doesn't like these reality shows, these competition reality shows and, who doesn't like a little romance in the springtime? It's firing on all cylinders here. I know. <laughs> I made a reference to mechanic firing all cylinders. I'm going to use this. I realized that the other day when I was talking to somebody, and I thought that's the catchphrase. Yeah, firing, firing on, on all, all cylinders. cylinders. Everyone who's a grease monkey will be uh, uh, will know that one, or anyone who stood out in the garage with a family member working, who's not always the guy. Uh, this is a yes. true. True, true state. This is a true statement. You know that gives a little uh, different twist to these kind of classic mm -hmm. Hallmark movies, where it's like, you know, small town guy, big city girl, or whatever. Like yeah. that, they're both doing the same thing. Did yeah. that uh, give you um, maybe a different point of view for your character too? Yeah, it seemed like there was a very short amount of backstory we do in the beginning of this movie, and I wanted to sort of pack as much clarity in the beginning in terms of how he feels about his job that he is you know kind of similar to cat's character to 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 cat's character and then we just kind of get right into it so it felt like there's some familiar aspects to this movie which is nice because i know people come to these movies for that familiarity and they enjoy like you know it's like having a meal that you love and you trust Mm -hmm. But to, to 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 sprinkle in a little bit of a new flavor here and there, and a bit of a twist on things, I, I think it provides a nice balance of a nice, fun, somewhat familiar ride, um, without being too naughty, um, but still still fresh and unique in its approach and in, in, in a few different ways. So it's pretty fun to see to be hearing that there's a show within a show, kind of. So yeah. you're filming the movie, but then there's the reality show, kind of. In there so does that did was that different than i mean we know it's different from what you normally are getting in these movies but how did that feel different when you were shooting it well we shot all the show stuff at the beginning it was like the first five days and that's where we started so we started with all the cast a lot of things are going on cars and various times of you know being fixed up and progressing through the competition and this is a big undertaking for crystal it was really fun watching her 
be thrown into the deep end. And I mm -hmm. said, you know, buckle up. You're going to be right in there. And she was, and she really rose to the occasion. And it was a lot of fun. There was a lot of things to cover. And this idea of shooting stylistically a little bit different when you're mm -hmm. doing in the show versus outside the show, when you're in the sort of movie land of, mm -hmm. of our fictional story, this was fun because you just, you allowed us sort of play moments between moments, what the camera would see in the show, what you might experience between two characters. There's a little bit of, of, of play in there. And there is something to like when a camera is on you and you know, people are watching, this could add a different kind of electricity between two characters of the sort of unspoken friction Right. And chemistry that's happening between our two characters. It was fun to play into that, I think. I love that. Um, this is Crystal's first movie uh, directing. And um, sometimes when you're working with somebody who's new in a position or what they're doing, they bring in something unique. What was something that you really enjoyed about working with Crystal uh, as uh, in this movie? Well, Cr Crystal is a great question, Julie. Um, Crystal's an actor and she's a very talented one. And so having her, we actually done a movie with the same production company years prior called flip that romance. Mm -hmm. And so it just seemed fitting that we were, that I was going to say yes to this thing. Cause same producers, she acted in that one. Now she's directing it almost a bit of a similar premise. There's like a competition element to both. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, she, she's an actor. And so she brought an enthusiasm to that, to performance, to characters and trying to put that at the forefront. And she just had a, a really um, infectious enthusiasm as somebody who was there for the first time. And I hope she never loses it because it's very, very fun to watch and be around to see somebody so enthusiastic about moments, little, little moments that she sees taking place. And she's very um, supportive, very, you know, you hear stories of actors and directors and the most they get is maybe like a great or like moving on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They don't even really tell you how you did, which I don't really mind either way. Personally, I don't I don't I don't mind. It's nice to get a compliment, but I'm certainly not waiting for it. Yeah. I know they're they come few and far between in my life. So I just move on. <laughs> um, but she uh, but she was very, very complimentary. You know, she would she would just be there very much watching what we're doing as as performers. Um as well as juggling the technical hurdles of this new, you know, experience she's having, which is quite an impressive feat to try to do all at once. And so that was certainly her superpower was her infectious enthusiasm when it came to actors and their performances. Mm -hmm. That's a great superpower to have. Now, Tyler, would you ever um, be interested in directing a Hallmark <clears throat> film? Um, I don't know. It's, it's uh, one of those things where, I, I don't ever want to put myself anywhere unless I can lend something to it. Um, so yeah, I think maybe there'll come a day. I, I'm lucky enough to have such lovely people around that, you know, like Crystal or Terry Ingram or yeah. Kevin Fair, or there's, there's so many lovely directors that I just, you know, it's, it's always great for everybody to be able to have their own, viewpoints and have mm -hmm. that come together, which merges into something more than you could even imagine, but there is something to really shaping something. And so may maybe someday down the road, but uh, it was a conversation I sort of was thinking about a while ago, cause I have directed things and, yeah. and, and uh, could do something like that. But I uh, maybe someday when the time is right, or, or I feel like there's something that I have to offer um, in that respect, but, it's no easy task, and Lord knows, uh, I love naps, so this would really challenge <laughs> that. I think that's life. been documented. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your, your love of naps has, has yeah. cer certainly been documented. No, yeah. um, I, you know, and your fan base certainly loves seeing you on the camera, um, which is which is fun. Uh, uh, so in this movie, the fan bases are like mobilizing. It's bringing in a lot of different fan bases. Um, is that something that you really enjoy interacting with the fans? Because uh, we see all the wonderful things you do. Yeah, there's there's nothing quite like it, to be honest. And it's become a huge component of why I do what I'm doing here, why I continue to make these specific movies in this specific place. And mm -hmm. 
And it's, it's just, it's, I don't know that it exists too far in other facets to this sort of length of purity and sincerity with such like really thoughtful, caring, um, lovely human beings. And so certainly it, it is a huge motivator for me when I'm making these movies and experiences I have and conversations I have, like even these kinds of conversations, I'll think of these things when I'm making these movies or preparing for them. As people react, it becomes this kind of ongoing conversation, which I think is unique to the fact that I make multiple of these a year right. in chunks. So every time I get to sort of react to how people react to what I'm doing and then take that into whatever the next thing is, whether it's how I approach the character or, or what I choose to do or um, so that's, that's been a huge part of it, if not one of the main parts of it all. And very, very grateful for it. Very grateful for people like yourself who, who also contribute to the conversation with their creativity. This is like one of the most beautiful things. It's not just, you know, people loving maybe the movies or how it affects them, which is, incredible in itself but this this like collaborative creative party that we're all involved in it's just really wonderful you know it really is it's wonderful to be a part of really on, yeah. on our end so does it feel like that yeah you guys are yeah. enthusiastic about these movies still like it still feels like it, it's filled with life it's so enjoyable and the fan base is so enjoyable. Uh, it's fun to be in that world right. and really quite heartwarming, right? Yeah. Well, let me ask you guys a question. Because you guys are such veterans in this world and these movies and you've probably seen so many and talked to so many actors, If what is it about, because these movies are familiar, you know what I mean? What is it about these movies and this world that stays fresh and exciting to you guys? I can answer. We yeah. both, like um, when you get those conversations, those things that pull people together, we both really like that when there's a little more depth to the movie. And yeah. we really like when we can see our actors shine, uh, bring their acting skills more. Like we, we like less choppy things. And so we love like when you're having a good conversation, like those are our right. like the back and forth scenes, like the sit and talks. Right. Yeah. Um, if, if you want to go broader than yeah. that, oh, yeah. sorry. No, I, um, go ahead. I, I think it's the community too. I think it's the whole experience. So it's not just the movies. Um, for us, we also get the piece where we're, you know, lucky enough to be able to talk to some of the actors and some of the directors and producers and whatnot. And that it makes it even more of a full circle experience, I think, for us. And I think the fans have, in general, ha feel the same way too. Um, yeah. if an actor likes their post or, or repost them. And I know we have to wrap up right now. Um, okay. But I think, I really do. I think it's the community and it's kind of like a full circle thing. I love that. Well, I want to say before we go, I know we just said we got to wrap up. I really appreciate your guys' patience. I know it's been a while and, and we've discussed being on this podcast. It's it's really lovely to be here and like actually get to chat with you guys outside of the sort of short times right. that we've met. And like it's 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 something that I I can't imagine that people want to hear me talk this much. I just is beyond my comprehension. And so I, I try to um just not exist too much <laughs> in many places. <laughs> But I really, I really, I really have been, I, as I said to you, I think Sarah, you know, years ago when we first chatted, it's like, it will happen. It's just a matter of, of time, <laughs> you know, to be, there's only so many I do when these movies come out and, and there's only so much time it seems to, to get them all done. But I really appreciate your guys' patience and I'm really, really glad that we finally, we got finally got to do this. I hope, uh, I hope I didn't ruin your podcast. <laughs> oh, right, I'm sure. Why don't you tell us what you were here for? What's your movie? I am here for a movie called Fifteen Gears. And uh, I'm very excited for everybody to hopefully enjoy watching it. I'm sure they will. And we thank you for being here, Tyler. And we thank everybody for watching or listening. We will see you again soon. Bye.